Welcome to Psychology Refresh. Today we're going to go over the 10 things that INFPs absolutely hate. Make sure to watch each one of them and find out which ones infuriate you. If you are an INFP, mediator, idealist, personality type, you probably have a few things, behaviors, or patterns that you absolutely hate. The INFP personality type is an individual who is often associated with their enjoyment of entertaining new ideas and possibilities with visionary beliefs and idealistic views. However, even extremely idealistic INFPs, like every other personality type, have their limits. Although INFPs experience anger, they want to keep their emotions under control as much as possible. However, the INFP is entirely okay with allowing justified anger to be expressed, especially in instances where they believe it is vital to get their point across. If you are an INFP, find out if any of those things make you furious. Here are 10 things that INFPs absolutely hate. Number 1. People who don't listen The INFP is one of the best listeners of the 16 personality types, being one of the most kind and loving. This empathetic personality, known as the mediator, can detect when others do not display similar listening and caring qualities. While they don't have unreasonable expectations for their social interactions, they do have reasonable expectations for collective communication and understanding. It's not so much a lack of attention that gets them. The INFP is particularly sensitive to people who fail to listen or care in an intentional or spiteful manner, and it's safe to say they're not fond of them. People who discount the INFP's thoughts and feelings as inconsequential, whether it's someone they should be able to trust or a random stranger, have a special place in their mental book of pet peeves. Number 2. Criticism and Snarky Comments INFPs despise being told they are too sensitive, overly idealistic, or that they have their heads in the clouds all the time. All with good reason, because the INFP and other similar types are defined by their basic characteristics, even intentionally funny comments or criticism of their functions might elicit negative emotions. Jabs to INFPs' innate qualities are comparable to informing them that something is wrong not only with what they are doing, but also with who they are as individuals. And it doesn't take a genius to see how hurtful that could be, especially when you have to play it off to prevent any disagreement or weakness. Number 3. Not Enough Alone Time Lack of reflective alone time is a classic introvert pet peeve. Because their primary function is introverted feeling, this personality type makes most of their life decisions based on their own emotions and values rather than concrete facts. As a result, the INFP requires more mental effort to navigate and comprehend information, prompting them to retreat into solitude on a daily basis. When forced to socialize despite their lack of social energy, this inventive personality type will lose their usual come across as a bit irritable and harried without this alone time. To put it in perspective, INFPs are unlikely to make it through a three-day music festival or a whole weekend with the in-laws. If you are enjoying our content, please give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and do not forget to turn on the notification bell. Number 4. Cruelty and Injustice Everyone might say they despise cruelty and injustice, but INFPs take it to a new level. This sympathetic personality type is known for being empathetic and sensitive. Their powerful introverted feeling function motivates INFPs to support causes that are close to their hearts. They may advocate for social change, participate in or lead rallies, speak out to their friends and families about pressing concerns, and or donate to organizations that support their causes. INFPs are known for fighting for the underdog, such as when defending the little guy against a major corporation or the authorities. However, an INFP doesn't need a personal connection to be inspired to action. Many INFPs have a strong emotional connection to the news stories they read or watch. They may be split between wanting to help and being overwhelmed with sadness and despair. Number 5. Any Form of Conflict INFPs must have harmony and peace in their interpersonal relationships since they are kind and sensitive. Fighting with a significant partner, family member, or close friend will make them feel anxious, hurt, or maybe physically ill. They'll probably analyze what happened and apologize for any hurtful words they spoke in the heat of the moment. 
INFPs aren't flawless, and they can lash out when provoked, just like any other personality type. The difference is that INFPs will almost certainly feel terrible about it afterward and will be fast to forget about it. Number 6. Strict Social Circles INFPs respect flexibility. Since they are open-minded and spontaneous at times, they like to make a disorganized strategy, or none at all, and they are prone to alter their minds. INFPs, for example, might make arrangements with their acquaintances only to realize later that they'd prefer to be doing something else. To put it clearly, many INFPs have difficulty sticking to routines and maintaining consistency. INFPs despise being placed in highly organized circumstances where they are expected to do everything just properly at exactly the right moment. They may also feel suffocated and stuck in a relationship with someone who has very strict standards. Number 7. Social Interactions with Strangers because INFPs are introverts, they, too, become exhausted by excessive social interaction. If you put an INFP in a room with a bunch of strangers, they'll probably sit in the corner and wait for the party to end. Small talks with strangers is not the best suit of INFPs. People don't usually inquire about the meaning of life when they meet new individuals. In other words, themes are limited to revealing your name, age, and other personal information. INFPs, on the other hand, seek depth and meaning from their social interactions. They would rather spend meaningful time with people they have known for a long time. Unfortunately, many parties and social activities lack such depth. Number 8. Jobs that they are not passionate about INFP's middle name is Passion. Passion has a long-term impact on an INFP's motivation and efficacy. It determines whether an INFP will be successful and continue to work. In fact, INFPs put more effort into what they genuinely enjoy, whether it's a pastime, a game, or a person. They will succeed as long as they are enthusiastic about it. An INFP can write endlessly and master the profession of writing, yet they can leave an office job that has no significance for them regardless of its effect, degree, or money. Number 9. Insensitive and Uncaring Individuals INFPs are extremely sensitive to the behaviors, conduct, words, and even gestures of others. They read people's minds, they are quietly observing and assessing other people's behavior. INFPs are cautious in how they engage with others. They choose their words carefully. They try not to insult others in any way. Compassion and empathy are in their nature. When someone lacks these characteristics, INFPs become frustrated once more. Number 10. Lack of Meaning in Life INFPs, like other intuitive personality types, are looking for purpose in everything they do. Life is a magnificent story for INFPs, and they are at the center of it. INFPs aspire to climb mountains, write the next great book, probably some fiction, travel around the world, have profound talks, and soak in the knowledge of the sages. They want their lives to be significant. Unfortunately, as we all know, life is rarely that simple. It might be monotonous, predictable, and downright dull at times. Many of us have to go to work or school practically every day, deal with monotonous and possibly irritating duties that we don't want to undertake, and then repeat the process the next day. Many other personality types, particularly sensors such as the ISFJ or ISTJ, simply smile and bear it, accepting that this is how life is. INFPs accept it to a degree as well, but they'll constantly be yearning for more. When life becomes monotonous and INFPs can't find the meaning or purpose in what they're doing, they may withdraw from people, becoming sorrowful and unmotivated. This is one of the biggest things that INFPs absolutely hate. These videos will be really helpful for you.